They say if you point a fan at a sail, you can make a boat move forward. But would Newton have agreed with that? To find out, they started small. Carey mounted a tiny fan on a toy car. Without a sail, switching on the fan sent the car rolling forward. But once the sail was attached, the car came to a dead stop. That's pure Newton's third law in action. The fan pushes the car forward, but it also pushes back with an equal and opposite force, canceling the motion entirely. But things were about to get interesting. Grant cranked up the fan's power and swapped the big sail for a smaller one. When the fan spun faster, the car actually started rolling backward. So they tried again, this time with a larger sail. And finally, the little car Car crept forward. Now it was time to go big. They got their hands on a boat with a built-in fan driven by a 40-horsepower engine, capable of producing 500 pounds of thrust. They mounted a sail on an aluminum mast and took it out to a perfectly still lake. First test, no sail. With just the fan running, the boat hit 20 miles per hour. Then they hoisted the sail and pointed the fan straight at it. On the first try, the boat spun in circles and nearly got out of control. After a few tweaks, they managed to keep it steady. With the fan blasting into the sail, the boat did move forward, slowly but undeniably. So yes, a fan can push a sail and make a boat go. But here's the real question. Does that actually break the laws of physics?